Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see how to do web scrapping using python code. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel then please do so in order to watch more programming videos. So let us get started. What is a web scrapper? A web scrapper is used to extract data from the internet that means from the websites. This basically uses the HTTP protocol. Now for doing web scrapping we need something known as beautiful soup library. Okay, so this is the library for pulling out data of html and xml files from your website okay so this is a very good tool i will give its link in the description section below so do check it out now let us look at the code first i will import all the libraries which are needed and then i will give the url from where i will be web scrapping okay so in this case i will be web scrapping from this website web.mta dot info slash developers dot slash turn still dot html okay now what i need to do is first i need to connect to this site so i will request to get the url if the response comes out to be 200 then it means that the transmission was okay and that means the connection is set now the next thing which i need is that i need to make a beautiful soup object now what does that object mean if you go to the website and click on the inspect element then you can see that the entire thing which you can see on the top right hand side the entire code and it has different sections all the codes have different section that entire thing will be converted into text file and will be converted into an object that means a soup object and when i print this soup then you can see that the all the elements of that page is included if you can remember these three lines these are all also present here okay the first three lines of this element is also present here so this is basically the entire thing which is present on the page okay so once you have collected the entire thing in a text file format then you need to just search for the a tags now what are a tags a tags are basically containing the hypertext references okay so these are the references from where we will be scrapping so when i find all the a tags from this soup object then you can see that these are all the a tags okay these are all the tags having the reference links now the next thing which we want is we want to take out this link and we want to download the text file from this link okay we want to download the text file from all these links so let us first see how to do it by using a single example okay so first of all i will find all the a tags by using soup.findAllA and then on the 36th line i will take the first a tag i have seen that in the 36th line itself the a tag starts okay so if you scroll and count the lines then the a tags will start from the 36th line i have already counted it so you don't need to count it okay so the first a tag will go here now what will this one attack contain this one attack will contain the entire first a tag okay so this is the entire tag now what you need to do is you need to take out the reference link you just need to take out this part so for that we need to take the href field of one attack okay so that will take out the reference link and will store it in link and when i print the link then that link gets printed okay now what you need to do is you need to take out all the links from all these a tags and you need to download the text files from there that is the core operation of this web scrapping okay so i will loop through all the a tags i know that my first a tag starts from line number 36 okay and then i will find the length of all the a tags that means the number of a tags present plus one because in python if you start from a and go till b then b will not be included so in order to include b we need to add one to it okay so this will loop through all the a tags now what we need to do is we just need to repeat this operation that means take out the tag and then take out the hyperlink reference and then download from that link okay so this here is saying that find all the a tags and then from there take the one at the ith location and then store it in one attack now take out its hyperlink and store it in link and then convert it into a downloadable url now how to convert it into downloadable url 
you just need to give this path where the files are present okay so the files are present in the developer section so you you should give this web.mta.info slash developers and after that you need to give the downloadable link your text link okay because that text link is present on this page so you need to add it and by using this url lib.request you need to download each of the text files i have given here time.slip and why is this required if we don't give this line then a lot of request may get sent in a very short amount of time which we don't want because the website may think that we are spammers and we are just attacking the website and so it may block us okay so in order to save ourselves we just need to give time.sleep1 so that after sending a request we will wait for some time and then after waiting we will again send our second request okay so this is all about web scrapping i hope this code works for you and you should try it on different types of websites if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos see you in our next video thank you